few days ago, Google introduced its new insane robot AI called Palm E, and I'm just excited to talk to you about it. Machine learning has been making incredible progress in recent years with groundbreaking advancements in a wide range of areas, from models that can understand jokes and answer visual questions in multiple languages to those that can generate images based on text descriptions. The possibilities seem endless, however, these innovations are primarily fueled by the availability of data sets and advances in training models on this data. Despite some success in scaling robotics models, they have been lagging behind other domains due to a shortage of comparable data sets. Then, enter Palm E, a new generalistic robotics model that aims to overcome these challenges by transferring knowledge from different visual and language domains to a robotic system. Unlike previous efforts that have relied on textual input, Palm E takes things up a notch by training the language model to directly ingest raw streams of sensor data from the robotic agent. The result is a powerful model that not only enables effective robot learning but is also a state-of-the-art general purpose visual language model while maintaining excellent language-only task capabilities. Palm E represents a significant leap forward in the field of robotics as it not only provides a robust model for training robots but also opens up new possibilities for understanding the way that machines perceive and interact with the world. By combining language and vision with the physicalities of robotics, Palm E has the potential to revolutionize how we think about and approach machine learning. In their demonstration, the Google team instructed a robot to fetch various objects from around the kitchen, such as rice chips from a drawer. The robot was able to complete the task with ease, showcasing its ability to adapt to changes in the environment. To further prove its capabilities, one of the researchers even poked the robot mid-task and it was able to pick up where it left off and finish the job. To understand how Palm E works, imagine a robot equipped with ChatGPT and Midjourney. ChatGPT enables the robot to comprehend user commands, while its visual sensor gathers information about its surrounding. This is a reverse application of Midjourney AI, which generates images from user prompts. In the case of Palm E, the model generates text from images or videos of its surroundings. For example, if a user were to enter a prompt like rice chips in kitchen drawer, Midjourney would generate an image from uh, the text. Considering that Midjourney AI can generate images from, from text prompts, it's not difficult to imagine that the reverse could, could be accomplished. Google Chat, for example, already has a feature that can describe the contents of an image similar to what would be required for this task. Once these prompts have been generated, they are sent to a language model like ChatGPT, which is used to control the robot's arm movement and other functions. Since Palm E operates in the real world, where things are constantly changing, it works in a continuous loop, gathering visual information about its surrounding and sending it to its interpreters. The model then receives new commands based on this data, allowing it to adapt to its environment in real time. Although Palm E is a sophisticated robotics model, it is still in its early stages of development, as shown in the video. The videos are sped up, likely due to its current lack of speed. This can be compared to the early days of Boston Dynamics robots, which also face similar challenges. However, Palm E is expected to be more advanced than Boston Dynamics robots as it can take on new tasks on the fly, whereas Boston Dynamics robots are only semi-programmed. After watching this video, you may want to make your own robot replica in 3D. Here are some Blender materials I would recommend. Materialic Library has over 370 plus adjustable PBR materials that range from wood, concrete, walls, metals, and more. They are mostly PBR with variant texture resolutions ranging from 2K to 8K to fit your production requirements. If PBR materials are not for you, then you are going to love Sanctus Material Library which is a library of exclusively procedural materials in a wide range of styles and categories. To read more about these awesome products, all links are provided in the description. Thank you.